done so far on the motor? The what? What have you done so far on the motor? So far it was a short block from Mel and me and we just uh, did a set of, uh, you know, new heads, front cover, rear cover, all pump. What do you have left to do on the motor still? We're just waiting on the, uh, on the oil pan, oil pan and uh, oil cooler, just miscellaneous stuff. Should be, should be running. Is it late on today or maybe Monday? Edelbrock 2650 blower on it. Uh, we've already done 
uh, dyno tuning on it. I believe it was right over 840 rear wheel horsepower on 93 octane. Uh, I'm gonna go make a couple blasts on the street just to test the 10 speed automatic, the transmission, um, as well as check air fuel and everything we normally do on a test drive. Uh, this car also has a coarse exhaust on it, so it is very loud compared to most of the cars we do. Um, this customer in particular actually uses this car. It's not like we just build it and he puts it in the garage and talks about it. This car gets used every day and every weekend on the streets in Mexico, as well as he has to track from time to time. Um, so test driving a car like this, we have to ensure safety as far as the engine and transmission. Uh, it's a 102 degree day right now in Houston, so manifold air temps. Uh, we watch quite a bit doing back-to-back -back pulls because that's what he does. Uh, you know, 50 to 150 back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, and we have to make sure uh, we pull timing accordingly once it starts getting heat in it. And I will say the 2650 blowers, whether it's an Edelbrock or a Magnuson, they're obviously much more efficient than the factory 1.7 liter blower. Uh, you can make back-to-back -back pulls in cars like this and still be making over 800 rural horsepower where as a, a 1.7 liter blower, like the factory ones, you make a back-to-back -back pull and you're already down 50 rural horsepower from the next, you know. So we'll do a few. I know it has a Toyo 888s on the back of it. I'm gonna do a third gear pull. I know it's gonna spin. Um, but I'll keep traction control on and it should just haze the tires through third and fourth and hopefully hook up at the top of fourth into fifth. We'll see um, But these cars if you haven't driven a Camaro uh, Or if you have driven like a fifth gen Camaro or even an old fourth gen Camaro These new six gens especially the ZL ones and the the one LEs handle phenomenal I mean they're built for road racing you could buy a car like this and go straight to your local you know road course and enjoy it uh, obviously you set camber and stuff uh, for road racing make it a little bit different than street driving uh, for optimal performance but uh, this setup here again he, he mainly uses it for the streets in Mexico so we'll do a couple runs and see how she does uh, the torque numbers this thing makes like I said I'm, I'm expecting it to spin the tires or at least haze them pretty good in third even with traction control on and I don't know if you'll be able to get the sound out of this thing I'll make sure we put some uh, cameras on the outside of it so y'all can hear it, but it is ear piercing loud on the dyno, but he likes it. So as long as he likes it, I like it. As long as it keeps making horsepower and staying in one piece, I really like it. Lately, and keep either 93 or race gas in these cars. 
Um, but again, the E85 is definitely the way to go for horsepower uh, if you have the right fuel system to support it, whether it's the low side or the hot side. Um, so there are applications where we do do it, um, but you have to upgrade the fuel system to do it, and it gets expensive pretty quick. So for your average guy that wants to enjoy a car, you know, daily drive it without spending a million dollars on a fuel system, I mean, 840 rural horsepower on 93 is pretty impressive. Um, and again, it costs a lot of money for race gas, but if you did want to put race gas in it, you know, again, another 50 to 100 rural horsepower is out of the question with this 2650 blower. We, we make over 900 with these, uh, you know, pretty much on a weekly basis uh, with something better than 93 in the tank. Well, I'll shut up now and I'll let uh, y'all see and hear this thing from the outside while I make some rips.